is it. The dock for Wortham. God. That whole village has gone to hell. You sure I can't take you someplace else? Yes, I am. This is the path to town, then? Aye. Follow the road and be on your guard. Unfortunate things happen to travelers in that forest. Huh. I'm no defenseless pup. Still, I thank you for the advice. <laughs> An outsider. Drawn where they do not belong. Yet you are too late. Wortham is dead. Stranger, I received word that Wortham had been attacked. The mayor requisitioned aid. What can I do to help? The mayor? Akarat bless that man's soul. Uh, those cultists you just carved through attacked the town and dragged our people towards the caves in the west. You here to aid us? Then help my men kill those bastards and bring back anyone who lives. Go! Please, hurry! We'll guard the gates with our lives. I promise you. Please. Ah, another sacrifice. Through your flesh, the Lord of Damnation shall have his prize. Behold the gift of Hell's new master. <laughs> Yes, I, I think so. Wait! One of the others had a portal scroll, but we couldn't reach it. There, there it is! Come, let's leave this miserable place forever. You know, I didn't thank you properly, friend. I'm Corin, the village's blacksmith. If you need to improve your armor or weapons, please see me. Everyone, we are not bereft of hope yet. Ah, hello, friend. You've arrived at quite a difficult time. As you can plainly see, the townsfolk are ill at ease. But we should be safe enough here for the moment. My name is Deckard Kane. I'm a bit of a traveling scholar, one might say. Lyra here mentioned you saved Corin from the cultists before that sudden commotion in the square. Please, tell me everything. It seems dark forces have set their eyes upon Wortham. The cultists' leader mentioned a lord of damnation, said he was seeking some prize. That face wreathed in flame could have only been his. Lord of damnation. Things are far worse than I imagined. 
The forces of hell are seeking a shard of the world stone, an artifact with the power to create entire realities. Five years ago, the demon lord Bale nearly brought all of humanity under his thrall using that stone. If the demons were to obtain even a shard of it, the result would be catastrophic. We cannot allow that to happen. Adventurer! Kane! The cultists are attacking the Western Gate! We need help holding them back! The attack came from the West. There must be another stronghold there. Don't worry about the town. Go! Show those cultists no mercy! Lord Scar, the shard is ours. And the rite is nearly finished. The way will open. You are not alone, supplicant. Slay the intruder. Deny to defend it, and paid the price in blood. Cain will know what to do with it. What you've accomplished is miraculous, my friend. To face such foes and live to tell the tale. Simply astounding. We were lucky I arrived in time. The cultists were summoning demons. Their leader called out to the Lord of Damnation. A demon named Skarn. Skarn? I have never heard of this name before. And as far as I know, there is no demon lord of damnation. Most troubling. Indeed. And there's the matter of what we do with the Shard. This sort of power does not belong in mortal hands. On that, we agree. You see... I did not come to Wortham by chance, my friend. A Herodric ritual allowed me to divine the location of several world stone shards. One was here in Wortham. The other lies somewhere in the nearby cemetery of Ashwold. I came here hoping to obtain the shards and destroy them, if possible. ...before Calamity descends upon us all. Be not alarmed, my old friend, for these frail bones come to you with an urgent request. 
My apprentice, Lethus, through foul means acquired a shard of the World Stone. In her pursuit of power, she has brought ruin upon Ashwold. The dead rise from their graves, and the balance teeters on the brink of disruption. Much like I, you cannot have forgotten the significance of that stone, or the sacrifice it took to end its threat. So I beg of you to lend your aid however you can. Darkness is spreading once again, and it seems I must ask the impossible of you. Will you help me collect these corrupted shards and save our world from oblivion? It was once my people's sacred charge to guard the heart of creation. We failed at that task. To be given a chance at redemption like this. How could I refuse? From the depths of my heart. Thank you, friend. Before you leave, I have a few gifts for you. The first of which lies here on the altar. While it may be simple, a good map is of vital importance. It will surely aid you upon your travels. This is Sanctuary. To protect it, you must cross many lands where forgotten evils linger. Yet you must go without fear into the heart of the unknown. This burden falls to us. A chance to fight the darkness. To ensure our home survival. For a new evil covets the world stone's power. If a shard falls into hell's clutches, our world will burn. Here, this portal scroll has been specially attuned. Once you have reclaimed the world stone shard from Ashwold, you can use that scroll to open a portal to Westmarch. There, we will find a means to destroy the shards forever. Very well. I will return as quickly as I can. Be cautious on your journey to Ashwald, my friend. Thank Akarat for your help, but my husband, he's still in danger. Our home is to the northwest. He's all alone with those bandits. Please don't worry about me. Help him! A thousand blessings upon you, friend. Ashwald's always had the occasional bandit. Uh, nothing like this, though. What luck brings you to my door? I have my reasons. It seems Ashwald has become overrun with the undead. Do you know anything about that? Aye. The whole guard's been fighting them for weeks. My son joined up at the Crypt of Honor Dead just this morning. If you find him, I'm certain he can tell you more. Stop wasting my time, you peasant. I know her body was buried here. Where is Asilla's tomb? The Queen's tomb was hidden. The dead deserve their rest. Wrong answer. The dead serve me. A fact you will learn soon enough. You. It's your turn. So I suggest you speak quickly. Where is the tomb? I don't know. None of us do. Only the Queen's handmaiden knew its location, I swear. Lethus, stop this! Your wanton disregard for life ends here. You will be brought to justice. So, how I tire of your jealous attempts to suppress my potential. Now, now with the power of the World Stone at my command, I will obtain true dominion over the dead. 
Your entire lethargic order will be swept away and replaced by one with the ambition to reshape this corrupt world. You are a relic, old man, and you are no longer needed. Thank you for your aid, adventurer. It appears I must go and teach my former student another painful lesson. The guard still lives, it seems. I leave him in your capable hands. Day. Certainly didn't expect to get choked by some death mage when I left the stead this morning. That death mage isn't past killing for the information she seeks. And you just gave her a target, a Scylla's handmaiden. I need you to help me, or that girl is as good as dead. Light's mercy. You're right. Wait, I know. Captain Asmir at Guard's Watch. He knows the maid. If you head there right away, there may still be time. So, you're the one who took care of the undead at our gates. Thank you for that. It's been a while since any visitors have been able to walk through them. But I won't lie. We're in dire straits here. My men's weaponry won't survive another round like that one. Talk to Pauly, the blacksmith, and bring me what he's got finished. Then we can talk. Let me guess. Asmir sent you. <laughs> he knows I can see him, yeah? Well, like I told the last guy, weapons take time to forge. I'm working as fast as I can, and that's fairly fast, all right? I'm sorry. The stress is eating everyone alive. Here, I've got half the lot done. Just take them to the man. Hopefully, that will hold them for a little while longer. <laughs> You're back. And with half the order, no less. Ah, I wish this were enough, but more and more these undead are rising, and my men are tired. Still, thank you. We will make do. Now... I'm certain you didn't come all this way to deliver me a bundle of swords. What brings you to Guard's Watch? I'm looking for Queen Asilla's former handmaiden. The girl's life is in grave danger. A handmaiden? Gods, I didn't know. Her home isn't far, just up the trail from here beyond the graves. I'd join you if I could, but... It's all right. I understand. Don't worry. I will find her. I didn't kill her, if that's what you're thinking. Ah, of course you didn't. No, I recognize my old student's handiwork. The body's still warm, too. Mm. You may wish to stand back. Reanimation can be... unpredictable. Rathma, guide my voice to the soul of the recently slain. Return to us, child. We have one final task for you. No! No! Stop torturing me! I didn't do anything! I told you everything! <laughs> it's all right. No one can hurt you anymore. You are safe now. That woman, the one who hurt you, what did she want? She wanted the location of the Queen's tomb. I told her I didn't want you, but she, she made me. They buried the Queen in the old garden, hid her tomb underneath, so no one would ever disturb her rest. Oh, I failed her, Scylla. I failed my Queen. Oh, girl. I'll stay here, ensure she's properly interred. You, however, need to get to that tomb. Do not let Lethus near the Queen's body. The Queen's spirit will lead the way to the Black King, Leoric.
returns. Even if you reach the mana, her task will not be halted. The reality is underway. Ah, hello again. I assume you followed the surge of energy here as well. Lethis never did have the patience for subtlety. Come, we must find the source of this profane rite. At its apex, we will find my wayward apprentice. A necrotic barrier. Quaint. Well, there are always three of these rituals. Go and put an end to the others. In the meantime, I'll go and keep Lethis occupied. For my sake, do try to be expedient. Not enough energy. Greatest necromancer alive! Rathma himself will fear my name! And you... Your suffering begins now. is open. You cannot stop it. And I don't intend to. You are my target, Lethus. My failure to put down. Please. You can no more put me down this time than you could the last. The rift is drawing strength from the Skeleton King's essence. You must go inside and break the tether that connects them. And how would I do that? Kill Leoric. You'd be surprised how often that works. Lethus desires dominion over the undead. The power Diablo left within Leoric's blackened soul. Put his spirit to rest and the rift will go inert. I was cast aside. But I found the shard. I found purpose. The Queen's spirit would lead me to Leoric. And the power to rule over the dead. I will be vindicated. Leoric's soul is the key. Lethis got away. <laughs> she was right. I couldn't do it. I couldn't kill her. 
But you... You can still catch her, if you're quick about it. Uh, you're wounded. Let me help you. No. If she escapes because of me, I won't be able to live with myself. Go! Now. It is done, Lethys. You will never have the Oryx soul. You're right. I won't. Instead, allow me to demonstrate what this stone can do in the right hands. My hands! <laughs> So, let this escape then. She never was the type to put her life on the line. What? No. We just fought. I... I killed her. Did you now? And yet, dead people tend to leave corpses. They certainly don't explode into bloody mist. They sort of just... Uh, crumple. Nobody... Not dead. I will have to follow after her. Regardless, I must thank you for your aid, my friend. Blessings of Rathma upon your journey, wherever it may take you. All this suffering over a single shard. Hopefully Elder Cain has found a way to destroy them once and for all. Now... Let's see if this scroll of Westmarch he gave me actually works. Hold there a moment, stranger. We're speaking with all new arrivals seeking asylum. Hmm. You don't look like one of these refugees from Ashwald. What brings you to Westmarch? I'm supposed to meet someone in the city. Hmm. Another tight-lipped adventurer. You're not the first to step through these gates on business. All right, everything checks out. Move along and keep the peace. Understood? Ha! Huh. I knew it had to be you. Been waiting a while for you to show. Charcy would have stayed, but you know, she's got business to run. Uh, I'm sorry. Who is Charcy? How do you know me? Oh, forgive me. <laughs> I got a little overzealous there. Let's say we all have a mutual friend. A certain scholar who arrived before you did? Our friend asked us to greet you when you arrived. Listen, Chas is the one you want to speak with. Find her at the blacksmith, and she'll guide you further. Welcome to Westmarch, and good luck. What do you need, friend? Uh, excuse me. Are you Charcy? A man on the bridge implied you could help me find Deckard Kane. It's you! You're here! Kane is going to be so happy you arrived. Well, let me be among the first to welcome you to Westmarch. <laughs> Isn't it as grand as the stories say? It is uh, certainly large. I will give it that. Uh, where might I find Elder Kane? Oh, <laughs> right, of course. Kane has a workshop over to the left of the central square, just beyond the fountain. You know, once I've finished up here, I'll join you two. Give you a proper introduction to the city. Ah, uh, welcome, friend. Welcome. I am glad to see you made it here safely. 
And with the shard of the world stone, I hope? Of course. Can we destroy them? Well done, my friend. I am certain it was no easy task to acquire this shard. Sadly, there is no simple answer on how to destroy an object this powerful. For now, it must be kept out of sight. Now then, you may recall I spoke of a ritual that revealed the world stone shards in Wortham and Ashwold. Well, while you were busy, so was I. And Tal Rasha's ritual has revealed a third stone to me. You see, the ritual cannot simply find all the shards across the world. No, it reveals those that are being used in some form. Mm. It seems the magic of the world stone emanates from the dark wood, a place of great and ancient evil. So, the shard is already in someone's hands then? Unfortunately, yes. You must expect that the darkness is already moving against you. But you are not alone. In fact, Charcy should be here soon. I can think of no one better to help you find the strength you will need. Really? Let me see it. I used to be quite adept at revealing the properties of magical equipment, you know. Ah, uh, yes. The grooves of this weapon function as sockets. Some rare armors and weapons can be befitted with gems of legendary power. There's research on it around here. If you can find it in the mess. I'll have a look around. These so-called legendary gems seem very useful. How would one go about acquiring them? Well, the writings I've seen speak of the Elder Rift in the same breath as these gems. Legends upon legends, it seems. Still, I believe the Royal Mages recently made a breakthrough involving something called... Crests. Oh, you're done already! I would have thought destroying Worldstone shards would take more time than that. Mm, you're not wrong there. And it appears I must find another in the Dark Wood. Kane mentioned you might be able to help out. The Dark Wood? <sighs> you know, I grew up not far from there. Hmm. If you're heading to a place like that, you're gonna need some better equipment. Excuse me. I had heard a rumor that there's been a breakthrough with the Elder Rift. You strike me as someone who might know a thing or two about it. You've got a sharp eye, adventurer. The court mages have been testing out various crests of power for a while now. We've just been given permission to start selling them. Only to qualified individuals, of course. From the look of you, I think we might be able to do business, friend. What do you say? The first crest's on me. We have an accord, then. Head over to the pedestal and place that crest into one of the recesses there. From what the mages tell me, that should activate the Elder Rift. Good luck in there. You're back! Oh, thank the high heavens someone finally survived! <laughs> I knew you were the right one. It's, tell me, what was it like in there? Maze-like corridors filled with untold horror as expected. I did find a few valuable things. Uh, hold on. Did you say finally survived? Valuable things, huh? Oh, I like the sound of that. Business is going to be booming once rumor of ancient treasures starts to circle around the city. Here. You more than earned these, friend. Have a few more crests on the house. 
Who knows what you'll find in there next time, huh? Hells, if you find something nice enough, you might even be able to make some decent platinum at that market in Rackus Square to the south. Take a gander if you get the chance. It'll be worth your time, I promise you that. Are you all right? Can you walk? Ooh. Oh, yes, I think I'm fine. Thanks to the both of you. I may need some help getting back to my shop, however. Oh. We've got you. Vic's shop isn't too far from here. Akarat, bless the both of you. Adventurer, I don't think it's a good idea for me to carry these gems any longer. Please, take them to my workshop and, and let my apprentice know we'll be there soon. Master Vic? Is he all right? Usually his card has arrived by now. He was attacked, but he's going to be fine. Charcy is bringing him here now. He asked me to guard these gems until he arrived. Oh, the shipment's safe. Thank the high heavens. We would have been in a lot of trouble if that hadn't arrived. You're a real lifesaver, friend. Oh, I will tell you all. Oh, I have oh, never been gladder to be home. Thank you, Charcy. And you, my new friend. The both of you are welcome in this shop anytime. Ah, I see you met with my apprentice, Sarrow. Good. If you ever need to socket gems or craft more powerful varieties, come here and she can help you out. For a small fee, of course. We're not a charity. <laughs> well, it's time we got going. Stay safe, okay, Vic? And maybe don't carry so many gems on you next time? Remember when I said I grew up around there? Well, I used to belong to the Sisters of the Sightless Eye. They have a monastery nearby. It's only been a few years, but it feels like a lifetime since I've seen my sisters. High Priestess Akara gave me this amulet when I left. Said it would open a portal in case I ever needed to find my way home. If the World Stone Shard is there, they're gonna need help. I pray nothing bad has happened. Thank you, Charcy. You were right. This was a very helpful gift. Do not worry. I will find Akara. My... My daughter. She's still in the village. Please, you have... To save her. I will try. Can you tell me what happened here? These women in black armor, they attacked the town. They summoned these terrible vines. I tried to warn the sisterhood, but I... Here. It's all in this letter. Bring it to Commander Kasha. Go. Leave me. Just save. Alyssa. I'm a friend. Your father, he didn't... Listen, your village is under attack. We have to get you out of here now. Leave? No! I'm not leaving! My father told me to stay hidden. He promised to get me to safety. He's going to come back. He has to. Alyssa, your father is dead. His last request was for me to save you and to deliver this letter to someone called Kasha. You and I can still bring it to her. You really did see him, didn't you? <laughs> Dad. You're, you're right. We have to go. I can take you to the Sisterhood's camp. Kasha will know what to do. All right, but stay close. We are still in grave danger. Are you all right? Did she hurt you? No, no, I'm okay. I'm sorry, I didn't know what to do. They killed my father, everyone in my village. And then she was standing right there, taunting me like I was nothing. You are not nothing. We will ensure those women pay for what they did, I promise. But we must leave here and find Kasha. Help! The vines! Help me! Help! Do not fear! We will fight back these traitors together!
No time to rest yet, stranger. More are coming. <laughs> Them. Yes, but remain alert. We are close to their den. My rogues and I will continue the pursuit. <laughs> Stop her! Alyssa. No. Oh, gods, forgive me. I am so sorry, child. A cruel fate for one so young. I knew the girl's father, and since you were with her, I take it he did not survive either. <sighs> you are no villager. Who are you? Why are you here? I am the child of Bulkathos. I came here seeking a priestess, and have found only carnage and loss. You must be Kasha. Then this letter is yours. The girl and her father died trying to bring it to you. Let me see it, Outlander. Hmm. Lucian was right to be afraid. These Bloodsworn, as they call themselves, are traitors to the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. This is not the first atrocity they have committed. Sadly, Blackstone is gone. And like with this poor girl, there is no undoing the terrible loss of life. But we can avenge the fallen and prevent further misery. My rogues and I are going to put an end to these bloodsworn. Join us. Commander, Lakri's forces ambushed us. The bloodsworn retreated into the overgrown village, but our numbers are too few to pursue. And the wounded. Slavi, order the rogues to pull back. Get the injured to the battle camp and bury the dead. My new friend and I will be the ones pursuing Lockery from here. As for you, Outlander, it appears you have the honor of heading in first. Once Flavi and I have ensured the safety of our sisters and recovered the bodies of those who've been lost, I will join you. Considering you fought your way through that village, I doubt you will miss me too severely. Go. Show those traitors that death is the only mercy we will afford them. Gladly. I will see you inside, Kasha. Feed the interloper to the blood wounds. The mistress will be Attribution at last. <laughs> I did not expect much kindness was left in these woods. Not since the Bloodsworn began their vile hunt. You're welcome, cousin. It is rare to see a druid so far from Skazglen. What did these wretches want with you? They were torturing me. Wanted me to join their perverse cause. That scene you saw outside. They want to spread that corruption through the woods. A druid would sooner die than aid in such a thing. <laughs> in fact, I almost did. Kasha, you missed the excitement. Lockery and her retinue captured this druid. He's been injured. Yes, he's lost a lot of blood. Our friend here will not survive long without treatment. Someone will have to stay with him. I have gotten this far on my own. What's a little further? You outlanders seem to love surprising me. Fine. Very well. Go and deal with Lockery. Once the deed is done, meet us back at the camp. Mistress, I've done as you asked. The blood of every man, woman, and child in Blackstone runs through your veins. Yet it is not enough. I must be whole once more. Hasten your efforts, lest you lose my favor. Cautious new pet. So discard you too, if you live. Who will represent?
land is returning. Her dominion is absolute! belonged to her. She will ensure you remember those you have forgotten. You there. Where is Kasha? Oh, she, uh, she left for the battle camp a while ago. Had a druid in tow. Bleeding everywhere, that one was. Hopefully the priestess can see to his wounds. Head east through the woods to find the camp, but be careful. Demons plague this forest. Thank you for your help. The fallen have grown much more aggressive as of late. Kosha asked me to wait for you. Uh, I'm glad you came along when you did. Uh, I'm Lien, by the way. Uh, you're welcome, Lien. Do you know where I can find the battle camp of the Sisterhood? It's not far. Keep going down this road and you'll find Kosha inside the camp. Oh, and maybe you can kill a few more fallen on the way. That would really help us out. Ah, you've returned. I trust you bring news of victory. Some. The Bloodsworn were driven from the village. But Lockry escaped. I see. Still, you've done well. This was never truly your fight, Outlander. If I remember, you came to this land in search of Akara, yes? It is time the two of you met. Go to her. And show respect, hmm? She may be the High Priestess of the Sisters of the Sightless Eye, but she is also like a mother to me. Oh, and don't fret about Lockery. My rogues and I will handle her. Priestess Akara, it is an honor. I've come with a dire request. Elder Kane and Charcy believed you could help us find a Worldstone Shard hidden in these woods. A shard of the world stone? Interesting. That certainly could be the source of our troubles. It seems the Great Eye has aligned our goals, my friend. As you have undoubtedly seen, the Dark Wood suffers at the hands of the Bloodsworn. Their leader, Lockry, was once part of the Sisterhood, until her heart was broken. She rejected us and found someone else to accept her. A world stone shard could be the source of the new power they have acquired. And if that is the case, you will need all the assistance I can offer. Years ago, Deckard Kane left me with a gift. A tome of Herodric origin. In truth, its strange magics were never meant for me. How fitting that he has sent you here to complete the circle. On your way to this camp, you killed several of those fallen demons, did you not? Their essence swirls about you. <laughs> yes, the tome is surely meant for you. The Horodric bestiary is yours. As you defeat the monsters of this world, their essence will provide you both strength and knowledge. When you have collected enough essence, bring the tome to one of these altars, and you will be greatly rewarded. Now then, we must return to the task at hand. If you are to find your world stone shard, you will need help. Thankfully, we are not alone in this endeavor. Let us speak with your wounded friend. Ah, you're back. <laughs> good, good. I didn't get a chance to introduce myself while I was choking to death in those vines. My name is Hemlier, and I... Well, I suppose I owe you my life, don't I? It was the least I could do. Still, I am curious. What brought you here? 
The dark wood is quite a distance from your home. Aye, it is. And how I miss Tuodulra. But the corruption of nature in these lands cannot be ignored. I came here to commune with the great tree Inifus, and it was there that I was captured. The dead tree teems with old magic. The bark whispered to me of a way to cleanse this corruption. Unfortunately, the ritual is complicated, and I lack the strength to gather the resources. <laughs> but perhaps you can help there. We must acquire native reagents. A crimson arax giant eye, a thorn from the largest of those blood flowers, and a branch of the darkest wood. Combined, the forest itself will reveal the truth to us. Now, the spider's eye and the thorn should be simple. Both can be found to the north. But the branch, well, the oldest trees here are where fallen make camp. Maybe we start with the other two, eh? A cavern to the north. Yes. This looks exactly like the place a giant spider would hunt. You will die. That's done then. Next is the Bloodflower's Thorn. Hemlier seemed to think it was close. Perhaps these wretched vines will lead me to it. The vines grow thicker to the west. I must be nearby. There we are. Where there is a blood flower of that size, there are surely thorns. So, the obedient hound of the usurpers. Barks at my door at last. Atharisi, show this mongrel what it means to be sworn to the blood. Go kill or die for me! is mine, coated in the blood of the enemy. Hemlier spoke of a branch of dark wood. The largest trees are to the south. I should start there. That rumbling. Something is coming. That scent. A bonfire. That would be a source of blackened wood. You've done it. <laughs> oh. Uh, ribs a little too sore for that. <laughs> Come, uh, the campfire will be our catalyst. Let us see what darkness curses these woods. Exhale! I don't understand. What happened? Did we get something wrong? No, no. The ritual should have worked. Each piece represents a part of the Dark Wood's condition. The flames should have revealed their connection. We're missing something. Akara, we could use your help. Could you now? It is nice to know that even at my age, my insight is still appreciated. 
Yes, a woman. Her wicked desires have perverted the nature of these woods. Only a magic equally as dark can bind your ritual. We would be blind without your wisdom, Akara. Well, if we are seeking out dark magic, I know exactly where to look. On my way to the Great Tree, I encountered a camp of cultists. They've been scouring the woods, looking for something. If we're seeking a source of dark magic, that's the place we're going to find it. Very well. I'll return soon. Ha! Huh. No need to keep running around. Just meet at the Tree of Inifus. With all four components, we should be able to fight back this corruption. Oh, before you go, I asked Hess to make something for you. But you need to grab it yourself. I am still recovering, after all. There you are. Just finished this beauty up. Here, all yours. Sure makes me wonder what old Hemlier imagines is waiting for you out there, though. <laughs> Whatever it is, this ought to come in handy. These cultists are the same ones who attacked Wortham. They must also be seeking the shard. Your master wishes to speak? The fragment of the eye. The world is there. And you shall have whatever your heart desires. My heart only desires one thing. And your precious fragment is hers. Deliver the stone, or the burning hells will cleanse this world. such power, you'd be taking a stone, not asking for it. You have your answer. With the stone's power, even hell cannot stop her. You shall see. and I will need to work together to face such power. An ember of the burning hells. It smolders with dark magic. I hope it will be enough. To the tree, then. The blood sworn are attacking. Hemlier, hold fast! I'm coming! Oh, you're all right? Good. Ah, for a moment there, I feared the worst. And with good reason. The damned Bloodsworn are giving us precious little time to waste. Still, you were able to get the final component, so not all is lost. Now, this ritual will bridge my consciousness to the tree. And the forest beyond. This Do what you must. I will keep you safe. The tree. It's guiding my sight. I see the darkness infecting this land. An evil that is vested in the deep places. It corrupts life. Feeds off it like a parasite. Hemlier, your face, it's... We have to stop this. Did I not warn this kind of magic scars? Eh? No, we cannot stop. The ritual awakened the power bound within the tree. It wants to be free. It will help us fight the corruption for a price. You have your bargain, Inifus. Banish the corruption infecting this wood and its people, as promised. Ah! What's happening? 
It should have worked. Destroy it. It can be purged. no cause for celebration. The forest will not be purged so easily. Not while the heart of its corruption remains. I could see it all now, friend. And it is terrible to behold. A blight seeps from the forgotten tower. At its roots lies a woman in a pool of stolen blood. Around her neck a red stone pulses with a power older than the world itself. The vines whisper to me. They tell me of an abomination. A blood rose. Through the rose, the blood flows to her, feeds her. It must be cut down. I have to alert the sisters of the Sightless Eye. You will have your chance. The plants tell me a rogue is on her way here now. Enough. We're getting you out of here. No, you're not. Not if you wish to survive this. We've been given a chance, but we must strike now. Kill the blood rose. As long as it feeds her blood, the Countess cannot die. And this corruption will never end. The tree can purge your lingering corruption, but for now... Flavi? Hemlier just... Wait, why are you here? What's happened? Haven't you heard? Kasha led a war party to attack the Forgotten Tower. I was returning to the encampment to rally the others when I saw what was happening here. I'm only sorry I arrived too late to help you. There's nothing you could have done. Hold! Did you say the rogues are attacking the tower? Yes, and the Bloodsworn are fighting ferociously. Kasha sent me to ask Akara for aid. Damn. The Countess cannot die while the Blood Rose lives. Your sisters are walking into a trap. I must reach Akara and the others, lest the Bloodsworn take them as well. Head to the Rose and we can join you there. Lien, you're hurt. Who did this? Where is Lakri? The blood. The Rose is drinking their blood. It has the others. I barely got away. Gods above! Listen, Leanne. I'm going in there, and I'm going to kill that thing. But you will not survive if you come with me. Flavi is sending reinforcements. Hide and wait for them. Stay hidden, and I will return as soon as I'm able. All right? Keep going. Do what you need to. I'll try. I'll try. Someone's approaching. Feed their corpse to the rose. Post your bloody rose and your mistress die tonight. So, this abomination is what feeds the Countess. Well then, monstrosity. Your end has come.
should slay. No, no, no. She entrusted her blood to me, a gift to ensure her beautiful world came to fruition. It will be enough. I can't have you interfering! Stand there and witness your failure! I give back all that you bestowed upon me. Take everything. My life. My blood. Is yours. Let me serve you. Dozens of our sisters, all of them have laid down their lives to prevent evil from returning. We cannot allow such sacrifices to be in vain. <sighs> the Blood Rose is dead, but Lakri gave up her life before I could stop her. The Countess is returning. Then she must be slain. There is no other course. No other way. An evil like that cannot possess an artifact like the heart of creation. It will not be easy. But you must act as the heroes of Sanctuary did. Join Kasha and the others at the Forgotten Tower and end the curse upon this land. The magic of the waypoint here will make your journey faster. Go, friend. This world depends on your task. Beauty fades. It is impossible to escape. I will not submit to this truth. I am beyond the pitiful laws of tiny men. Their blood will serve me. Fulfill my purpose. My splendor. Reborn from their pain. And my beauty will never fade again. It is done. And you are triumphant where we faltered. That is twice now I have misjudged an outlander. Hmm. I suppose I may need to work on that. That object in your hand. Is that? A shard of the world stone. Uh, yes. Its terrible power resurrected the Countess. I will trust both you and Kane to deal with it then. I'm sure he'll be relieved to know it is in your capable hands. In the meantime, we will continue to ensure the Bloodsworn do not return. Should you ever require our aid, we will be here. Farewell, friend. There you are. Come, stay a while. The two of us have much to discuss, I'm certain. Indeed, Kane. 
Once again, you were right. The shard was already in the hands of evil when I arrived. Many laid down their lives to aid us in reclaiming it. Such sacrifice. Each shard has only fallen into worse hands. It is far past time we were rid of them. Follow me, if you would. Even as small as they are, the shards still radiate a corrupting power. There. It should be safe enough to begin the ritual. Strange. The spell seems to have no effect. It is as if the stones are resisting. I should have guessed this would not be easy. Even the ancient Herodrim worked together when dealing with shards of the world stone. My friend, I will need you to lend me your strength if we are to attempt the ritual once again. Can I count on you? What must I do? Stand there, outstretch your arms, and focus your mind upon the stones. The rest will be up to me. Are you hurt? I'm fine. But that... that was not supposed to happen. The shards have been irrevocably corrupted by Bale's influence. I'm sorry, but... I am truly at a loss. No. No. Despair will do us no good. There must be an answer somewhere. There always is. But I will need to consult the Herodric texts, and that will take some time. Cain, how goes your research? Have you found anything to help us destroy the shards? In fact, I've made quite a breakthrough. Pouring through some of these ancient texts, I uncovered a man who knew more about the world stone than anyone. One of the original Herodrim, named Zoltan Kuhl. My ancestor, Jared Kane, documented his experiences with the man quite well. It seems Kuhl would experiment with soul stones in his spare time. Soul stones? Yes, powerful artifacts intended to house the spirits of the prime evils. Apparently, they too were shards of the World Stone, but only Zoltan Kuhl knew of their construction. In the end, he was killed by his Herodric brothers. Accounts differ as to how, but it is clear the Herodrim made quite an effort to expunge his knowledge from the world. Searching the world over for traces of a man who died centuries ago is no small feat. Hmm. I don't even know what he looks like. The task is arduous indeed. Fortunately, the Herodrim's purge was not as thorough as they believed. I was able to unearth a few records that may help us. There's even a drawing of cool, if you're curious. The 
Sultan Kul's paranoia may benefit us. It seems he hid a number of archives throughout the world. My research shows at least one of his libraries survived, buried beneath the sands of the Shassar Sea. That's beyond Chaldeum. Yes, it's quite the journey. In order to reach Shassar, you're going to need to book passage on a ship. Take that letter there on the table, and bring it to the captain in the Wolf City Tavern. He'll know what it means. Well done, Kane. I will make my way there at once. I'm looking to book passage for a voyage to the Eastern Lands, and a friend told me that I might find help in this tavern. Would you know anything about that? <laughs> Your friend's a wily one, whoever they are. Yeah, you're in the right place. Uh, but the guy you're looking for is outside. Pirates tend to get a little rowdy. Huh? Uh, what was that noise? Oh, God damn it. If they're starting a fight out there, they better not bring it inside. Well, uh, what are you waiting for? An invitation to the tavern brawl? Right. I'll take a look. and gold to whoever takes out the tough one! Stop, please! We only wanted to scare them into giving up the gold! Show me- Ah, get out of here before the guards arrive, and don't look back. Letting them walk was a wise move. Pirates like that come and go. Never know when you'll be forced to work with them again. And it's not like the guard would have shown up at a place like this, anyways. Ah, they seemed misguided, but harmless. Besides, I'm actually here to find a captain willing to make the journey to the Eastern Lands. You seem to be the man this letter was intended for. Letter? Let me see that. I see. So Kane's calling in his favor, eh? That must be important. Where are we headed? Ever heard of the Shassar Sea? Of course I have. Didn't realize you had a death wish, though. I don't usually go that far out. But after this little spat, my men and I might need to spend some time outside the city. All right, you have a deal. Meet me at the dock when you're ready and we'll set sail. You've made it! I take it my letter worked, then. Here, I have something for you. I pray this serves you well as you brave the unknown. When you return, I will be here, in my workshop. Until then, my friend. Chaldeum and Shassar beyond it are a long way from Westmarch. Are you ready to take your leave? I am. Let's be off. The Shassar Sea. <sighs> Drier than expected. I'll make this easy, you, you double-crossing rat. Give me the map, and maybe you'll live long enough to scurry away. Look at that, so. A stranger from out of nowhere to save you, huh? <laughs> I'm going to enjoy cutting you both. Um... A little help, please? Who were they? That is a question no native would ask. <laughs> Those brutes were the Sand Scorpions, a group of vile murderers that I am overjoyed to no longer be a part of. Why don't you grab the key of Tiago and free me? Hmm? Then we can talk more. Oh, you are amazing, friend. Now, not every traveler waylaid by the Scorpions has the strength to fight back. <laughs> Much less kill Tiago the Bloodthirsty. What brings someone like you to this forsaken desert? I'm looking for a library of an ancient mage. It is said to be buried beneath the dunes. Would you know anything about that? <clears throat> a little too forthright for these sands, friend. You never know who may be listening. But yes, I know of what you seek. Come. We can discuss these things in a safer place. 
You there? What has happened? Ah, the Lacuni attacked again. Tabri and the others went to fight them. Those damn beasts attack without end. Listen, friend. To find your library, you will need to speak to our leader, Tabri. Unfortunately for you, she is in the midst of repelling a Lacuni invasion. But hey, it's not all sandstorms and wasps. Sure, there are a few panther monster people in your way, but a person of your skill can easily remove them, yes? Dov, the Lacuni are already at our gates. We need all the blades we can get. Of course, of course. Take my friend here, and I will join you uh, once I have taken care of this man's grievous wounds. Right, Zav. Whatever. Come this way, stranger. You have either excellent or terrible timing, stranger. While I appreciate your aid, I do not know who you are. What brings you to my camp? Uh, your friend, Zav, I believe his name was, said I should speak with you. I'm looking for something buried beneath these sands. Ah, uh, friend is a strong word. If Zov sent you, he must see good omens in your arrival. But there is no fortune to be found here. Look around you. The Amber Blades are barely holding on against this threat, much less Vateos and his thugs. The desert sands devour hope. You should leave before they claim you too. Luck is all I can offer you, outsider. Leave, and may Fahir's eye never fall upon you. Let me guess. Tabri told you to leave, hmm? Ah, that woman is surely the coldest person in a thousand miles. No wonder Vateos is frightened of her. Listen, your problem is an easy one. She believes you are going to be a burden. Yes? So instead? We lighten the weight upon her shoulders. Simple. And I know exactly how we do it. Several of our men were dragged away in the last attack. Save anyone still alive and kill the Lacuni pack leader. <laughs> oh, and bring back proof of your kill. Tabri, for some inconceivable reason, favors action over words. The deed has been done. Uh, this is going to get messy. Hey! Look who's back. Oh, and with a pelt? Ooh, that's uh, disturbing. <laughs> but clever. Tabri won't be able to deny such uh, compelling evidence. <laughs> anyway, Tabri just returned to camp. Uh, follow me, and I'll take you to her. She's certainly going to be surprised to see this. You had best have a good reason for disturbing me again, outsider. Isn't it amazing, boss? We killed Alvas. <laughs> Those lousy Lacuni will know better than to mess with us. Mm. Us? Hmm. Considering it's our new friend's hands that are bespattered with blood, it isn't difficult to tell where the credit is due. As for you, go and hang the beast's skin on my gate. Let those Mongols see its face every time they think about encroaching on my territory. When you're done, we'll talk. So, you have proven yourself to be quite the fighter, haven't you? Zov says you're seeking the library of Zoltan Kul. I know of it, and I am willing to entertain helping you get there. For a price, and what price is that? The Scepter of Fahir. An artifact once held by the rightful ruler of Shassar, and split into three pieces after his death. With it, we can finally bring peace to this land. Obtain all three, and you will have what you seek. Zov, take our friend to Peth. His guidance will be invaluable to you, newcomer. Before you go, take this. As proof of our pact. This gem, and others like it, will prove useful to you on your journey. I suggest you get acquainted with them as well. Look at that, my friend. Oh, a tourmaline. A rare gift in these parts indeed. You should meet Emin, 
She will show you what to do with it. Ah, Zav. Here to repay your debts, finally? Or to increase them further, I wonder. <laughs> a good one. Let's skip past such trivialities, shall we? My friend here wishes to learn how to harness the potential of gems. And I could think of no one but you to help. Oh, a gem, you say? Let me see it. Oh, look at you. You're so, uh, shiny. Um, honestly, I can't even see it. Did you even get it socketed? It doesn't matter. Come, it is time to meet with Peth. And carry on with this journey of yours. Excuse me. Tabri sent me to speak with you about the Scepter of Fahir. What? The Scepter? <laughs> Can't you see I'm busy? What do you need to know about that cursed thing? Where to look for it? Supposedly it's been broken into three pieces. Please, I know all about the Scepter's history. What I don't think you understand is how impossible the task you've been given is. The scepter was separated and buried intentionally when Fahir's reign ended. Our forebears understood that deeds like King Fahir's must never be repeated. We know where the three pieces are. It is obtaining them that is the fool's errand. Still, I've seen that look in an adventurer's eye before. Very well. If you cannot be dissuaded, the first map piece lies on the desk behind me. It will point you to one of the Scepter's fragments. Take it if you wish. But, you do so at your own peril. Look what I caught. Your fate is sealed. As I was saying, Enjoy your trip back to the burning hells, you... Wait, you're no demon. No, I'm not. I assume you're the one responsible for this. Proudly. There's a demon using illusion magic to sow chaos and feed upon the locals. I'm going to trap it and kill it. Now stop talking and I'll free you. There. I suggest you leave this place as well. The only thing I found in there is death. Now get out of my way. I have a demon to hunt. Monstrosity was guarding a scepter piece. No wonder so many died trying to obtain them. Oh, look how it shines. But perhaps this task is less impossible than we thought, huh? You are ready for the second piece, then? Y yes Here's the next map. Uh, but the headpiece was buried along with Fahir in the hopes no one would ever reach it. Tabri is waiting for you in Sereth Outpost. Uh, as for me, uh, I have some business to attend to first. Uh, you, you go on ahead. You've arrived. 
Does that mean you have the scepter piece? Alluring, is it not? It's hard to believe I'm really holding this. Perhaps the winds really are about to change. You aren't the first adventurer to come through here, to speak with my people. Many have dared the chambers and tombs, and each of them wound up the same. But you're different, aren't you? Here, take this. A reward for your hard work. Just know that your task gets more difficult from here. The head of the scepter was buried with Fahir. You will need to brave his tomb to find it. Be wary inside that tomb. The old kingdom hid many terrible secrets. Ones that prefer to remain hidden. Secrets buried in the sands. Shrouded in darkness. Many an adventurer has attempted to retrieve the scepter. I don't need to explain what happened to them, do I? After all, the scepter is still buried in the sands. Mateus wants those scepter pieces. Riches to whoever strips them from the outsider's corpse. That was for Teos. Yes, the leader of the Sand Scorpions, and our rival for these accursed dunes. Next time he will not escape my blade. I presume you have the headpiece? Ha! Huh. Of course you retrieved it. You know, if you are trying to make me regret doubting you, it's working. After all these years of struggling, we are so close to our goal. Only one piece remains. A jewel called the Light of Fahir. This map will reveal its location to you. Acquire the gem, and bring hope to this land at last. This is the location on the map, but it is no prison. The entrance must still be concealed. The water in the nearby pool is rushing away. That must be it. Darkness. Ah. All that remains is to bring it to Tabri. You've returned. 
And here we just come to assist you. You have the jewel already, don't you? The scepter of Fahir. I can hardly believe it. You may never truly understand what you have done for us this day, but know that we will be forever grateful to you. You have given me the right to rule this land, and more importantly, provided us with a symbol that can unite our scattered people against Vateos. It is time to rise up and cast off his cruelty once and for all. It's funny. When I met you, I told you these sands tend to devour hope. I have never been happier to be proven wrong, my friend. Now it is time for me to fulfill my promise. Peth will provide you with access to the library of Zoltun Kul, just north of Sereth outpost. Only he knows the ancient spell that parts the sands. Be safe, and know that I may call upon your services again. You have been quite the partner, after all. Tell us where the scepter is. We know you've been collecting the pieces. before more of them arrive. The library isn't far, but we've never been inside. There were too many warnings. It seems even the Horadrim feared Zoltan Kul's domain. If I believed in it, I would wish you luck, friend. Still, you did survive Fahir's tomb. So perhaps you stand a chance. And don't worry about us. The Amber Blades will retake Shassar, thanks to you. Allow me to do my part. Let the path be open! This is it. The Library of Zoltan Kuhl. In one you would come, and after centuries. I am the curator of this library. And I do not suffer thieves. I am no thief. Spare me. Your trespass is at its end. to kill you. I came to this library seeking knowledge, a way to end the threat posed by the shards of the world stone. <laughs> How whimsical. Well, if such knowledge exists, the master would have indeed stored it away here in his private archives. Unfortunately for you, I cannot reach said location. The library has been ravaged by time and has fallen into disrepair. But it could be restored. If you truly are no thief, then perhaps you will prove your innocence. What do you have in mind? First, I must regain my strength. And a myriad of monsters stand between us and the statue where that can happen. Considering my weakened state is your fault, I let you clear the way. 
Here we are. That orb the statue is holding should be teeming with transmutational energy. Unfortunately, it is not. Hmm. All three runes have been removed from the pedestal. No wonder the statue has fallen silent. They will need to be recovered if we are to continue on your quest. Yeah, look for yourself. That tablet holds one of the runes. There's an inscription. I awaken when nine flames burn bright. Making one as day makes others as night. Touching the tablet rekindles your plight. It's some form of test. Ah, uh, I despise tests. Best get to it. Well, that was fast. The second rune is powering the magic circle just over there. Defeat its guardian and it's yours. Places cold, ruinous. Am I inside the mirror or beyond it? The magic of this place is affecting the rune. It's ethereal. Wait, something happened when I touched it. Light? <sighs> My strength returns to me. I can feel the magic coursing already. Now, for our arrangements. In order to restore the library, we must bring the central core back to life. We should head there and see the damage done firsthand. Only once the core is active will we be able to find the knowledge you seek. Shall we head forth? Has it been damaged? Something is escaping us. The core powers all of the mechanisms within the library. If activated, I could remove the barriers between us and the secret archive. But it refuses to heed my command. Our only course is to obtain the Master's Journal. It details the inner workings of the library. But that knowledge has been kept secret from me. It is held within the Well of Knowledge to the West, beyond the magical barriers that restrict my movement and some of the Master's more unfortunate experiments. If we are to proceed, you must obtain it. A seeker of knowledge, yet knowledge has a heavy cost. And what would that be? Acquire the knowledge of the ages and become a slave to it. Abandon the illusion of life and share in our eternal burden. That image resembles the core, but the rest is a mystery. Perhaps the curator can make this clearer. The core, much like the Master's other creations, appears to be animated by living Sam. This is why my magic does nothing. We must give life to the stone itself. You see, the Master was of the Aeneid clan, 
and transmutation was his specialty. Myself, the golems, even those grisly experiments you fought through, we are all forms of artificial life. Sadly, making the spark that brings life to his creations is beyond my abilities. The Master preferred to keep his creations under tight control. But do not worry, that has never stopped me before. To the east is the Chaos Engine. We can use it to extract the life from golems in the area. Which should provide us with means to reanimate the core. I hate to destroy the Master's creations. But some sacrifices must be made. Obtain the remains of a golem. Extract the essence of life. Reanimate the core. A simple plan. Confusing actions. Why assist golems? Seeking potential reward. What? No. The curator and I are attempting to restore the library's defenses. But we cannot do that without life essence. Curator's companion. Answer is acceptable. Need further discussion. Follow to camp. I'm sorry for your losses. Unfortunately, the life essence within these deceased golems is of no use. Are there any other options? Larger golems? Ah, options exist. The Eternal Guardian protects private sanctum, now quite demented. Better off destroyed. An advanced golem that has already gone mad. That is indeed worth a look. You and your friends have been most helpful. Unnecessary flattery. Glad to assist. You are welcome. Visit Enclave anytime. We offer assistance. None are welcome in the Master's Sanctum. engine somehow. Alignment accepted. Destination, Chaos Engine. Magical energies are nearly depleted. Teleportation is one way. It worked. Now, let's see if this Chaos Engine can create the spark of life. The remains are inside. Yet the engine is inactive. Those glowing orbs have to be the key. The hungering dead are being drawn to the orb like moths to a flame. I can't let them interfere. They're still coming. I had best activate the other orb quickly. A trembling in the stone. More of the damned will be here soon and in greater number. 
It pulses as if it were a beating heart. The curator will want to see this. Do you have the life essence? <laughs> you have done it. Remarkable. Now the rest is up to me. archives are open to me now. Excellently accomplished, my compatriot. I think you have waited long enough for the knowledge you seek. I will go on ahead and search for the tome. Meet me in the archive of secrets just up the stairwell. There we will uncover the means of destroying those pesky world stone shards of yours. This tome is no light reading. The master transcribed his memories in a way that left them perfectly intact and available for others to experience. It will require a space less filled with cockroaches and maddened golems, however. Come. Further to the north, there is an old chamber that the master used for the purpose of reliving his memories. Head through here, turn left, and ascend the stairs. Destroying the world stone is a curious endeavor. It seems better to use such power, don't you think? Still, it is none of my business. Although, when you're done, Perhaps you'll share the story with me. This is the place. One moment, please. It was beyond belief. I partook in the battle against the demon Lord Bale. I saw Zoltan Kool. He spoke with Tal Russia, saying only an Archangel's weapon could damage the World Stone. Well. That makes things complicated. The Master seemed to only know of two such weapons gracing Sanctuary with their presence. One was Eldruin, a weapon belonging to Tyriel. Good luck getting him to let go of it. The other, however, was called Yilnir. It was bequeathed by an angelic artisan to her child and hidden away by the Ancients. Supposedly, it rests within the Temple of Namari, on an island with the name Bilefen. I assume that's where you'll want to go next, yes? Hmm. I believe I have one last gift I can offer you. A way to make your journey much shorter. Now that I have full control of the library, I can teleport you wherever I wish. This terminus has been modified to take you to a location upon Bilefen Island, near the temple. You have proven trustworthy enough to come and go at your discretion. But should you choose to leave, do it quickly. I abhor long goodbyes. Uh, and, uh, try not to die before our next meeting, hmm? <clears throat> the portal will take you to Bilefen. But be warned, teleporting halfway across the world may be unsettling. It's not often an adventurer shows up in this port without even a ship docking. You certainly don't look like the rabble coming for work. Or a pirate, for that matter. Whoever you are, you're gonna want to check in with Talva. He's not a fan of strangers meandering around without his knowledge. Come on, I'll take ya. Silvertongue's up there. Be sure to let him know Sandro delivered ya, huh? I could use the coin. 
<laughs> Please, sir. The Elder is terribly ill. Then go speak to Cadius. My responsibility is the port and the goods that go through it. Now go. I'm done with this. Oh, that village will be the death of me. You there. I make it a point to know every face that steps into my port. And yours, I don't recognize. So what business is it that brings another adventurer to the Bilefen? I'm looking for an ancient temple upon this island. Do you know of it? Ah, now I get it. You're with that wizard then. Explains your sudden appearance, at least. Can't fathom why you lot are interested in that place. Nothing but death awaits there. The temple is to the southeast. Easy to find. Good luck getting in, however. The swamp is likely to kill you first. Now, if that's all you're here for, go on. I have enough problems to deal with. You must be the wizard Talva spoke of. It seems we are both seeking entry into the Temple of Namari. You arrived just in time, then. Supposedly, we stand before an altar that summons the Temple's guardian, Namari. And I fully intend to awaken her. With the right magical invocations? The altar should come to life and summon Namari. After untold eons, who seeks an audience? Honored Namari, I am Jin from the Great Isle of Shansai. I have traveled the world searching for your ancient texts. And I seek an angelic weapon hidden within your temple. We need its power to destroy the corrupted shards of the World Stone before they fall into the clutches of the Burning Hells. If what you say is true, this is indeed a dark time. But has no one told you? What stands before you is no temple. This is a prison. Sargoth, the despoiler of life, has been imprisoned inside for millennia. My soul was bound to this place to ensure the Dark Summoner never escaped. But eternity is a long time. The power of the Nephilim has waned and his connection to the Burning Hells has only grown stronger. He will free himself in time. And I am bound here, helpless without the three beacons. Return the beacons and help me eliminate Sargoth before he unleashes untold havoc upon this world. Do this, and I will entrust to both of you what you seek. That explains why the altar was so difficult to activate. Three missing beacons. You know, on my way here a pirate was trying to sell some artifacts he likely stole from the temple. That may be a good place to start. What do you say? Interested in saving the world? The pirate was just outside the port when I last saw him. Let's try there. Our friend here is willing to divulge some information for a price. I have some experience dealing with these pirates, but we should also consult that silver tongue fellow. I'll pursue this lead if you'll go speak with Talva. He's been in charge of that filthy little port long enough to have at least heard a few useful rumors. Take me! I'll give you anything! Healed. I need more time. He fetishes. Every damn creature on this island ought to be exterminated, if you ask me. Still, I, I owe you. And I assume you want something in exchange, so uh, let's get to it. Uh, what are you here for? Information. Three beacons of incredible magical power were taken from the temple's entrance. Have you heard of anything like that coming through this port? A few times. But like most things from that temple... Misfortune followed those damn relics. 
We don't let people sell stuff like that inside the gates anymore. But I may have heard a rumor or two. One relic was bought by an explorer years ago. Don't think the man ever made it off the island. The other is in a village to the east. But it sounds like that place is cursed. If you're going there, seek out Cadius first. Are you Cadius? Tell the Silvertongue said I should speak with you before heading to the nearby village. He seemed to believe it had been cursed. Cursed? Bah, nonsense! Fools always claim what they don't understand is magic. No, some creatures causing the villagers suffering. The trick is to find out which one and kill the thing dead. If you're hoping to help the village, we should join our efforts. I was just about to search along the river to confirm my suspicions. If you'd like to come along. There! A villager! Guards, they must have floated from upriver. See that? That's no magic. That's toxin. Something killed these people, injected them with that vile liquid. Damn things got to be put down. That body came from the village farther up the river. If you follow these corpses, we may discover what's behind this. isn't even here. Perhaps it lies in the Elder's home. Do you see this? Corpses everywhere. An entire village is lost. We're too late to help anyone. I'm going to search for the village Elder's home. If fortune is with us, someone will have survived. Who, who goes there? A thief here yeah, to steal the beacon. Oh! It doesn't matter. Akarat, why? Why have you abandoned us? This squirming inside. Oh! No, they hunger for your flesh. I feel them. You. Meat! Ah, flesh! They feed! The pain! The pain will end! Stop this! You're not well! You're trying my patience! Owens! I cannot be damned. Yes, it's one of the beacons from the Temple of Namare. Could it have caused his suffering? No, the beast you killed did this to him. But that beacon glows with preservation magic. Please, help us. They still have Gelly and the others. I, I, I tried to help, but there's just too many. The fetishes are slaughtering everyone they captured from the port. Please, my friends are just inside the village. Save them, I beg of you. Is someone there? Please, get me down from here. You saved me. Oh, thank the gods. I thought I was done for. I'm glad I could help. But I need to ask you a few questions before we get you out of here. The fetishes. Is this all of them? Have you seen their chieftain? No. No. No one sees the chieftain and lives. I heard a rumor from the other captives of a profane magic he wields. But I never saw it myself. They've been taking people back into the rapids for God knows what purpose. We were about to be next. If you're looking for the chieftain, 
The Kikarish Rapids are where you'll find them. Ah, oh, there you are. My negotiations went poorly. But I was able to find out that the pirate leader keeps the relics they've stolen aboard his ship. That's where we'll find our beacon. Come on, let's go. Ugh, rotten little fish creatures. One of the pirates claimed Rodri treats these things like pets. Oof. Let's have a look around, shall we? No luck? Let's take a look at his desk, then. And... it's a mess, of course. <sighs> How can someone be this disorganized and still function? Whatever, I think I have something here. Apparently, Rodri locked away the beacon in his private stash. The text mentions some kind of security mechanism. Stealing from a pirate! A rather daring way to ensure your death. You're trying my patience. Well, that's one way to obtain a beacon. I assume you have the other two. Right! Let's return to Namari, then. You've returned. And I can feel the beacon's power flowing through the altar. Well done, both of you. Come. Our opportunity is slipping away from us. If we are going to defeat Sargoth, our moment is at hand. Jin of Shansai. You must take my place at the altar, lest Sargoth break the seal before we are ready. It will be my honor. Oh, you're back! And with both your dagger and Namari's tomes, no less. Do you realize how impressive you are? I owe you a great deal, friend. But I need to take these back to Shansai right away. If you ever find yourself upon the Great Isle, don't be afraid to seek me out. I won't be. I, too, must return to my duty. Travel safely, Jin. It's you. Huh? Had a feeling you'd be back. Here. This letter came in for you. Thought I'd hold on to it until you returned. You know, for, uh, safekeeping. Hmm. This should be the place. Time to take a closer look. Cycle continues. This one may be worthy, but it is too soon to tell. Worthy? Of what? What are you talking about? Who are you? You are heading in the right direction. Ahead lies an ancient cycle, sacred rites, and immense responsibility. Soon, soon you will understand.
Welcome back, friend. I can only assume this means you've finally found what we've been looking for. Indeed, Cain. Behold, your Mira. Oh, astonishing. Only once before have I been graced with seeing the craftsmanship of the High Heavens. And it certainly wasn't from this close. This is indeed an object of holy power. To think an old man like me would ever hold such a thing. With the dagger as catalyst, the ritual should not fail. The time has come. Now then, I believe after all this tribulation, you deserve the honor. Destroy the shards once and for all. Three shards expunged from this world and safe from the clutches of hell? <laughs> I could practically burst out into song. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> In truth, I understand the feeling, Kane. This moment has been hard won. <laughs> yes. But, let us not forget, there are still more shards out there. While you were away, I was able to divine the location of a fourth stone to the northeast on Mount Zavane, not too far from Ariat itself. Unfortunately for us, Rem's ship isn't ready to set sail. However, this cryptic letter did arrive with your name upon it. It seems you may have an interesting diversion in your future while I secure your passage. As it has been, so shall it be. You are powerful, filled with a strength only suffering can provide. Place the time-worn scroll on the platform inside the cathedral and learn where your power can be put to use. I... I... can't... Standing in the ancient city of Corvus, Deodessa the Builder bestowed the eternal crown upon her son, Kion. Fueled by the artifact's power, Kion formed the Immortals and swore to protect Sanctuary from the burning hills. But he would not do so unwatched. Knowing that power corrupts, Deodessa charged her daughter Akiba with a heavy burden. It would be her job to ensure the Immortals were forever worthy of this gift. Should they ever fall to the burning hills, Kiba and her shadows would take their place as the defenders of Sanctuary. This cycle is eternal. Since the time of the Firstborn, Dea Dessa has done her part to ensure that Sanctuary would be forever protected. For her plan to work, two sides are required. As you will come to learn, they are the Immortals and the Shadows. The first of which is ready to speak with you. Visit the historical archivist. She is near the Wall of Honor in the northeast of Westmarch. I will meet you there. Welcome. Here for tales of Westmarch's august immortals? Or are you interested in joining? You've come to the right place in either case. For you, I can share the deep truths. First-hand experience, not rumor or speculation. Go ahead, gaze into the Wall of Honor over there.
That scroll is only found by those truly capable of defending Sanctuary. You are no pretender, and I sense great power within you. But power can lead to corruption or sloth. You must be stronger than that to be one of us. Hand me the scroll, and you shall see. If you know how to fight demons without inviting corruption, I'm listening. Visions of us all, future and past, bear witness. This is the Immortals, bestowed with righteous power by Deodessa, the Builder. Their charge? To defend Sanctuary against the burning hells. To use their strength to keep the relentless demons at bay. To be a beacon of hope and light. But victories are temporary. And the immortals can never relent or yield. Even if all hope seems lost, they must find the courage to stand defiant for all time. They were wrong. You can be worthy. You will be. Now return. Are you back with me? Good. Curiosity is an important first step into a larger world. If you are ready to learn more, I am ready to teach. Remember, we are but one side of the coin. Stay and read as much of the Immortals as you wish. And when you're done, think about heading to the tavern. I'm told someone from the other side wants to speak with you. Been chatting with the Unspoken? <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. Normally, access to the Court of Whispers is restricted to our members only. But we'll make an exception for you. This time... The Unspoken is waiting for you inside. Go, before you are seen. Akiba, daughter of Deodessa, founded the Shadows. 
Though she is long departed, her spirit is with us always. Touch the ever-burning font and let her wisdom mark you. You think you have what it takes to walk this path? You must work unseen, hidden in darkness, as I once was. Always remember, we all want the same thing. The protection and safety of Sanctuary. Many say they want to protect others. How they go about it is what matters. We test the Immortals. We ensure they are worthy of the power they inherited. Hand me that scroll and see the truth. Prepare yourself. A dark burden given, and a hidden force created. One that could step up should the mightiest immortal fail. The shadows, constant challenges to the would-be defenders of Sanctuary. They would test the immortals, looking for weakness and apathy. Led by Akiba, the shadows would overthrow the immortals when the time was right. But even in victory, she knew her watch had just begun. For this is an eternal cycle. The battle hall of a great hero. Plagued by doubters, he fought valiantly, and he won. My memory is... different. My brother was a great hero, unlike any before or since. But he still failed. The power he held was more than anyone could bear. The strongest, the wisest, the most dedicated, exiled him and took up his burden as it must ever be bring down the immortal reclaim to be done. Good. Should the immortals become unworthy of their station, we will be there to remove them and take up the mantle. Always. No matter who wears the crown. Return to yourself. Think on what you have seen. And now you know the truth. The immortals are tasked with protecting Sanctuary and have been given great power to do so. The Shadows are the ones making sure the Immortals never become corrupt or complacent. I understand. Yes. Though Akiba and Kion are long dead, there are others who can help you decide where to focus your efforts. Those you've met on this journey can be useful advisors. Visit them again when you are ready. You may simply continue as an adventurer, as you have, but the cycle swirls ever around us, even if we ignore it. Listen for rumors to learn how the cycle is faring, then decide. You're back. Did your secretive friends turn out to be helpful? They are skilled at fighting demons. And each other. If nothing else, I have a lot to think about. Any word from the captain? Yes. Thankfully, everything has been prepared. Whenever you're ready, 
Rem should be waiting for you at the docks to begin the first leg of your journey. Thank you once again, Kane. Ah, there you are. The old man said you're looking for passage to Mount Zervain. Well, our ship can bring you to the nearby port and a caravan can take you from there. If you're ready, we can head out this hour. Traveler. Hmm. And a well-armed one at that. The Khazra have grown aggressive as of late. I would not recommend traveling Mount Zavain alone for the time being. I see your point. These goatmen do seem troublesome. How can I help? A good question, but one that is not mine to answer. I was on my way to speak with the target of these attacks, the Sons of Rakis. Perhaps you wish to join me? The men are not faring much better. We need new options, or we will be forced to abandon our post. Wait. It appears we have some opportune guests. Veradani monk. Unbelievable. We were hoping the monastery might send us aid, but we'd expected acolytes, not someone of your position. Regardless, I am deeply thankful for both you and this adventurer's arrival. Our peoples may have had their differences, Captain. But on this mountain, when any one of us suffers, we all share the pain. Tell us of the Khazra. What have they done? The nearby village was overrun. We've gathered those we could, but the Khazra have occupied the village. Akarat knows what they're doing to those who survived the attack. And now, the beasts assail our gates. We need your help. With the two of you, the light may have given us a chance. But the Khazra swarm against us from two separate fronts. We will need to deal with both if we are to survive. If the rumors about a single monk being with a battalion of men hold true, I would prefer her to guard the fort. With her help, we can cut off the Khazra in the village from their reinforcements. So, we isolate the Khazra in the village. That would allow a small group to clear out the rest. Bold. I like it. Bold plans are all we have left. Hmm. If the monk guards us from the north, you and I can fight through the village, adventurer. But we will need to move quickly. The guards here are barely holding their own. The goatmen are at the gates! To arms! Are you all right? No. They took the others. Those damn things emerged from the village so quickly. We barely had time to react. They were taken alive? Then we have no time to be wasting. Agreed. You two, pull further back and defend the gate. Use the path to limit the effectiveness of their numbers. We'll be back soon. Hopefully with friends. It's been days since we fled the village. Stay alert. Who knows what we'll find in there. Bond. This is a fresh wound. He must have tried to escape. Well, thank the blessed light you two arrived. Vaughn, he... He distracted them. And I was able to take shelter. But the debris... That's weird. He's alive. Be careful. The circle. It's... A summoning... I don't understand how this is happening. The Khazra are primitive. This kind of magic should be beyond their capabilities. Mm. I've seen rings like this one before. Once in Wortham, another in the Dark Wood. This sigil belongs to that cult of damnation, and each time I've seen it, they were bringing the foul minions of hell into this world. I see no sign of the others. Whatever's going on, we're not going to find answers here. Let's inform the captain. This fight isn't over yet. We've returned. Grin reported back as well. The others? Vaughn and Weir fell. The others were taken. It seems the Khazra was sacrificing villagers to create a summoning ritual in the village. It's a kind of magic I've only seen wielded by cultists. Summoning. That is the secret behind the Khazra's seemingly endless onslaught. They can only have come from the den to the north. Our monk friend has been battling against their main forces nearly non-stop since you left. Meet up with her, and press the assault. 
or the Khazra will simply try again, and the next attack we may not endure. Stay back, friend. Another attack could come any moment. Something drove the Khazra into a powerful rage. That was you, wasn't it? Mm, possibly. We learned the Khazra are employing the same hellish magic used by cultists of Skarn. If the Goatmen are trying to deliver a Worldstone Shard to the Demon Lord, things are about to get much worse. We must put an end to this. A Shard? No, that's not possible. I know precisely where the Worldstone Shard you speak of is. It was recovered years ago, and is safe within our monastery. Still, I share your concerns, and we need to find out more. Sadly, the Khazra have been driven into such a rage, they have been un- More Khazra warriors! Go ahead, I'll take care of things here. That feeling again? Like a cold talon dragging along my spine. The cultists must be close. We know this one. The Shard Seeker. Warn Dravik at once. By flesh be born. By blood find life. Let the damned serve their lord. Our power is nearly spent. The portal will not hold here. Then your purpose has been served. You must be the Dravik these cultists keep shouting for. Yes, I am. And you must be the Shard Seeker. You cannot help Oza or these people. No, you will fail at reaching the stone. And I will have what is mine. The God of Damnation has spoken. Within. What hope is there of finding tracks in a place like this? Eyes may be deceived, but land itself always bears the scars of our actions. Zaim, god of mountains, I beseech you. Lend me your sight. Reveal the path once taken so we may follow. The mantra is working. Friend, I need you to be my feast while I commune with the mountain. The Khazra are weak and fearful. They will bow before the Lord of Damnation. Eliminate the sons of Rakis, and the monastery stands alone against Hell's might. Then, the spirit orb is complete. The mountain's memory is long, and it will guide us to drop it. Come, follow. Hundreds of years ago, Ivgorod fought back the invaders from Westmarch here. This battlefield is the cursed result. The spirit orb has stopped. There must be more the gods wish us to see. Guard me while I come in with Zayn once more. Then let this sacrifice be the first of many. There is no price I will not pay for his return. Yes, my lord. I can hear you now. The blood ritual pierced the veil. At long last, tell me what I must do. Dravik, what bargain did you make? Quickly, follow the orb once more. Uther, look at this. Some journal entries and a map. Have you heard of a Zakarum chapel here? No, but it does not surprise me. 
Much of what the Zakarun built upon the mount has been lost to the mist, and few people are willing to brave the nightmare grounds to find such a place. It would be a perfect place to hide. Uh, you're right. That's certainly worth a look. The map showed the chapel at the center of the battlefield. The nightmares are strong there. Do not let down your guard. The flame of hell leaves not even ash. No, not yet. The fire, put it out. This abandoned chapel served as someone's study. Look at all this research. Was Dravak working in secret this long? I, I never knew he'd fallen so far. He became distant after his brother died in the tundra of Eriot. Oh, I wish he'd told me. I could have helped him. I would have... Don't do that to yourself, Oza. This is not your fault. You're right. And yet, some part of me will always bear this guilt. I could have stopped him. I could have reached out to him in his pain. Perhaps then, none of this would have happened. Now is not the time to lose yourself in reflection. We must find Dravak and stop him. Do you know of this shrine he mentions in the letter? Yes, it's to the east. Not far from the old monastery grounds. We should hurry. By Yitar, look! An acolyte from the monastery! What could have brought him out here? Friend, stand back! I will entreat Zayim's favor once more. If we are still blessed by the gods, perhaps they will grant us clarity. The demons are everywhere! Form a defensive line. Do not let them into the temple. We cannot hold much longer. I will find Oza. He came to warn me of an attack. He spoke of demons, and a great number. The cultists must have opened a rift to the burning hells. It's the only explanation for an assault of that magnitude. We have to divide our efforts once again. It is the only way we will survive this. I will return to the monastery and rally the others. But you must stop that ritual. The old temple Dravek wrote of is further to the east. Follow the path, and you'll find it. Hmm. Understood. I'll head to the monastery as soon as I can. Keep them away from the shard, or the world will suffer like never before. Dravek has betrayed everything he stood for. The blood of his own people is on his hands. If you face him, show no mercy. There. That must be the temple Oza spoke of. And that feeling of dread has returned once more. Your constant interruptions have taxed the Master's great work. I have numbered. Three shards destroyed. Uncontested. No more. You have earned the totality of my ire. No penance. Only suffering. Your strength is mine. Yet, the tide has been unleashed.
something fell from the priest's robes. That symbol again. Another ritual. It isn't far. for you to die. I serve a new god. One who actually listens to prayer. Run home to Eve Garod. Only damnation awaits here. You monster! No, not yet. Heal. I'm healed. Fear my blaze. deep. Oza went ahead. She's all alone up there. You cannot escape Zayn's grasp upon his sacred mountain. I am his fist, and I will crush you for what you have done. That came from the peak. Oza. Oza, no! Please, tell me you are all right. No, I am not in the practice of lying to friends. I can't believe it. It's over. Master Vitalia has been avenged. But the shard, you must get the shard. May Zaim embrace you, my friend. I will deal with a shard, I promise you. There's someone ahead. Perhaps he can aid me in my search. Welcome home, Wanderer. Or back to what's left of it, at least. Only the damned and the dying still remain on this mountain. What brings you to such a hopeless place? Vengeance. I seek a man in orange robes who consorts with demons. He came to our sacred mountain for a dark purpose. 
And I am not leaving until his blood stains the tundra crimson. <laughs> a man like that would stand out like a pear tree in the snow. If he has thrown in his lot with the demons, your quarry likely hides in Sesheron, along with the rest of the hellish monsters plaguing this land. The veil between life and death has been torn open in those ruins. Our ancestors' spirits haunt the once hallowed halls fighting an endless war. I should warn you to stay away, but I can see the words would be wasted. If you grow tired, the village of Bitter Hearth will always greet a child of Bokathos with open arms. There is no peace in death. The demons are coming. Well fought, stranger. What brings you to these forsaken halls? My prey hides somewhere within. You are a shadow wolf, are you not? One of your tribesmen tried to warn me of Sesheron's fate. But I had not expected this. How could you? This is the price we paid for failing to protect the heart of creation. Our people cannot move on. They fight without end. Without hope of redemption. What an atrocity. The man I seek violated these ruins. He intends to deliver a shard of the world stone into the clutches of evil. That must not come to pass. Then let me help you. Death leaks into the world from the heart of Sesheron. Our people are broken and our ancestors suffer. Perhaps together, we can see their misery end. Keep your weapon ready. The demons can somehow cross over from the realm of death. Hell will never play, Marriott! Be gone, foul beast! Let the shards open the path unto death! the sacred mountain no longer insolent savages your spirits will be burned soon enough so you chose to follow me across the mountains after all i am here for that stone and for your life and yet you will have neither for we are beyond your reach. Go home! Pray to your impotent gods while you still can. The path to hell will open, and my brother will return to me. That is all that matters. You... You are of the flesh? You have fought for so long. There is no peace. No rest. The demons make sure of that. Is, is this our eternal fate? Suffering for failing at our sacred duty to protect the world stone? Those demons serve a man named Dravik. He entered your realm with a shard of the world stone. How can we follow after him? <laughs> Only the dead may walk these lands. Yet, there is a voice we hear. A woman upon the mountain who is not born of Bulkathos. Her presence crosses over. It is like a beacon to the weary. But that is all I know. Not a child of Bulkathos. Tassi, the pilgrim in Bitter Hearth. She's with our chief. We have to hurry. Then let the last of my strength ferry you away from here. I only ask one thing. Please, save us from this torment. Portal. Thank you, warrior. We will not forget this kindness. 
We'll want to speak with the chieftain as soon as possible. This way. Chief Kentark, is Tossi here? I have someone she needs to meet. Tossi? What is the matter? The shard of the world stone has returned to Ariat. The man who carries it intends to deliver the stone to a demon lord named Skarn. Now he has taken refuge in the realm of the dead. And we are powerless to stop him. By the ancients. Our people bled, and our mountain was shattered to prevent the heart of the world from falling into a demon lord's hand. What you speak of cannot be allowed. Yet, I cannot stop him if I cannot cross into the realm of death. There. Take our guest here to Tassi. Let us pray she has answers. Excuse the urgency, but we are in need of help. My enemy has crossed over into a realm beyond ours, where only spirits may tread. I am told you may know of a way I can follow after him. Only spirits? You speak of the unformed land. I'm sorry, but I am no witch doctor. I am one of sword and shield, not one who guides others between life and death. To even try such a thing would put your soul at risk. I must reclaim the world stone shard. Risk be damned. Here I was, sent on a pilgrimage, but unable to fulfill my purpose. Then the spirits send a stranger who needs the very object I seek without even knowing it. Very well. Let us both embrace our destinies. Not far from here is the Cavern of Echoes. Buried within its unnatural ice is one of the seven stones. The Iceburn Tear. Acquire it and bring it to me. With its power, Death's Fangs may lose some of their bite. Friend, I will speak with the Chieftain while you are gone. After what we saw, I cannot let you assault Sesheron alone. When you are ready, I hope my tribe will be fighting beside you. Good luck with your talk, Naver. I will return with the Iceburn Tear shortly. When you leave town, head east until you reach the frozen lake. There, in its deepest recesses, you'll find the Cavern of Echoes. Here, this will help you fight the cold. May Bulkathos give you the strength to conquer the challenges ahead. Be careful in that cavern. The Iceburn Tear is one of the Seven Stones. Do not underestimate it. Do you have the Tear? Unbelievable. I can feel it's cold from over here. Not many have escaped that cavern with their lives, much less holding the Tear. If only the rest of our people had the courage you bear. But our wills have become as broken as our home. Still, this is exactly the kind of victory that rouses spirits. Come, let us return to camp. That cold. Yes! That is it! You have the stone! A sacred stone, to think I would hold such a thing. See how not even flame can withstand its presence. A lost flame can be reignited all. Do not fret so much. The seven stones are artifacts that my clan has been seeking for ages. While I'm no expert in the spirit world, I know that wielding the tear gives death much less authority over a mortal's life. And how does that help us? Claiming this stone has granted you its boon, and the spirits of this mountain will now be able to sense your presence. Your soul bridges life and death, and it is the dead who will guide you into their realm. Not I. To the north, the Ice Clan Khazra have claimed the graveyard of the ancients. Clear out their infestation. 
Present their war banner to the spirits of all, and perhaps they will grant you permission to walk amongst them. I am going to speak with the chieftain once more. Hopefully, I will meet you in the graveyard with good news. that war banner this tattered rag must be the banner Tossie spoke of but what of these weapons I see markings from several tribes it is not right to let them remain here a gravestone much older than the others let us see how Tossie's insight fares Bring the stand of our enemy to us. You've forgotten who we are. We are defined by more than violence. We who gave everything to fulfill our sworn duty. We who suffered for both Ariat and for clan. Show reverence and reunite our fallen kin with their weapons. Grant their spirits rest, and honor their sacrifice. A worthy tribute. A warrior's weapon bears a portion of their soul, and without it, we are incomplete. You honor those who came before you. Now speak. What has brought you to me? My enemy has found a way to travel into the realm of the dead. He seeks to deliver a shard of the world stone into the hands of hell. I must follow after him, but the way is sealed. Our people have protected the heart of the world for generations upon generations. We are tied to this land, even in death. Only by receiving the blessing of the ancients can you walk the path of the dead. Take the signet from this grave, warrior. Travel to the plains of blood and return your fallen kin to their rest. Bury them with their weapons and grant them peace. Only then shall Tor and the others guide you to your foe. The path to the plains of blood is open. Aid your brothers and sisters, and they shall do the same for you. Naver, Tassi's ritual worked. I spoke with Chieftain Ronkosh, and must find a spirit named Tor in the Plains of Blood. <laughs> of course, it would be him. Tor is my father. He died five years ago, along with most of our clan. They perished in the Plains of Blood. Laying down their lives, so that we lived. If you are truly able to speak with his spirit, let him know his daughter strives to carry on his heart, even now. But that is not what I came here for, is it? Chieftain Kentark has rallied our tribe. 
When you move upon Sesheron, we will join you in fighting back for our homeland. My people may have suffered, but even now, we will fulfill our oath to safeguard the World Stone. We spill the blood of demons together, my friend. The smell of rot and corruption lingers in the air. Unspired flesh! <laughs> Something fell from the demon's corpse. A weapon? You didn't stand a chance. Get the elders and the children out of here! Wait! You! Who... are you? I'm... dead, aren't I? I remember... the shrieking... the claws... I fell, ensuring the others could escape. Yet I was lucky. The others died not knowing if their sacrifice was worth it. Please save my fallen kin. Let their spirits know our tribe will live on! Foul demons. We lured them here. We could not hold. Tell me, did the children live? Yes. The Shadow Wolves survived, and they continued to fight for this mountain. Your death was a worthy one, sister. Thank you, warrior. May your blade never rest. Your grip never slip. Your heart never fall. Uh, my blade. I, I remember now. The chieftain. He was fighting against the Ice Demon's leader. We had to leave him behind, or the tribe would have fallen before the monsters. Living one, find Tor. Restore his spirit as you did mine. You have my blessing, warrior. This is now, the demon! You think you can break me? I am a child of power, and you will not leave this mountain alive. They fought to a standstill. Yet, I sense something. Movement. with the fury of old. A flame that rekindles our weary souls with a strength I feared would be lost forever. Tell me, how fares our people? My daughter. Naver lives. And having met you, I can say she carries your spirit. Even now, she rallies the Shadow Wolves to fight once more to prevent the world stone from falling into the hands of the burning hells. Thank you, warrior. You may not understand the pride I have in my daughter, but your words are a blessing I never thought to hear. But what is this about the world stone? It was shattered. Yes, and its shards plague our land. One of them now hides in the realm of the dead, a place 
I cannot reach without your blessing. And if I cannot reach it soon, hell will claim the stone for its own. My blessing? You have my blessing a thousandfold, friend. That signet you bear, present it. It will serve well enough as the catalyst for our pact. Brothers! Sisters! Heed your chieftain one last time! You who is of our spirit, protect the heart of the world at any cost! We go with you unto death itself! Our blessing is yours. But more than that, so too are our blades. We may have failed to protect the heart of creation once, but we will not do so again when afforded a second chance. We will ensure the way is open. The might of Ariad is with you, champion. Head inside. The demons will face my steel. Damn it. I couldn't reach her in time. Tassi, are you ready? Yes. This is the place the Shard breached the barrier between life and death. Is it not? Its effects still linger. Where is Naver? She didn't make it. I see. My people are no strangers to death and sacrifice. Even then, moments like this are still hard to bear. Come, we must press forward. Oh, and brace yourself. This will be painful. Warriors of old, guide this one who will honor your legacy. Walk with them as they pass through the veil into Imwiri Kukula. You have passed into the unformed land. While I have never experienced it myself, I do know you must not tarry too long. You do not fight alone, champion. The children of Bukatas rally behind them. Once how pitiable you are, our neglected kin. Yet I have seen your worth, and with this, the heart of creation, I will see you freed of heaven's sin. We are with you. By the call of the ancients, the gate shall open. Go, champion! Lord Skarn, the shard seeker approaches! Abandon your fear, for terror is in my control. Dravik, come, be cleansed of the heaven's blight. Nothing would tear us apart again. Embrace your heritage. For soon, this misbegotten world will also be made pure. Naver and Oza will be avenged.
And so you survive the ancient evil once again. A spirit awash in fury. Come, it is time to return. Soul of the living, cross through the veil of eternity. Let the tear guide you home. You are truly a paragon of our people. But your duty is not over until the heart of creation is returned or destroyed. Do not fear for the spirits of your kinsmen. While we may never be at peace, we will do all we can to heal the breach. May the ancients guard you on your journey, my friend. I would welcome you back, but I recognize that look in your eyes. You're leaving, following after the world stone into the burning hells themselves, aren't you? I am. Any other course will spell doom for our world. As I thought. Do not worry. I will see to Nave's last rites. But as soon as things are settled, I intend to follow after you. Hell is not a place to be without allies. Even for the strongest of us. Nave will be buried alongside her father. Both of them deserve a place of respect. And what of yourselves? Sesheron will never be as it was. And Ariat is no longer a fitting home. My tribe and I may move on soon. Our charge is no longer to this broken mountain, but to each other. Here, this belonged to Never. I feel it could be with no one else. Wear it well, and break apart the evil that threatens our world. Show no mercy, for they will offer us none in kind. Farewell, friend. So this is the Burning Hells. I must reach the World Stone quickly before it. Ah! The Lord Let's welcome you! Kin will reveal more. The gnarled husks point in this direction. If answers lie anywhere, they will be in the forest's heart. This. Thank <laughs> you. 
someone. Yamira defended me. And that draining feeling is gone. I suppose I should have expected that the light of heaven would be a powerful tool in a place like this. What familiar light beckons? I sense a presence. Angelic, yet not. Immortal? Help me. I beseech you. You shine as a beacon. Please, fight on. I am imprisoned in the ruins ahead. <laughs> your indignance only makes your suffering sweeter, Angel. Break my spirit. Ah, a fresh soul. The siphon will overflow this day. It is done, Angel. You are free. Thank you, mortal. I am Baratheon. You have freed me from a millennium of torture. ...for waging war against the Lord of Damnation. There's something different about you. A familiar brilliance about your form that... ...defiantly pierces the darkness. Ah... ...I understand now. That blade you carry... ...is Yulnira... ...Edge of Temperance... ...the last vestige of the Martyr. May I share in its strength? For just a moment. How hell itself recedes from the pure light of the high heavens. Glorious, is it not? The blade has restored my spirit and my mind. And I see you now as you are, mortal. What fate has befallen you that your soul should be in such a state as this? My soul? What of it? Mortal. When I look at you, it is as if the eye of a new stares back at me. Your soul bears the same scars that have rent eternity asunder. If not for Yilmira, your spirit would be nearly as depleted as mine. This could only be Scarn's doing. The Demon Lord has claimed a fragment of the Worldstone's power. He must be stopped. ...before his misguided crusade consumes the world. More is at stake than you realize, mortal. The Eye of Anu has the power to alter creation. It was done once before, and the result was your world. If we are to combat a demon 
Wielding such power, cooperation is vital. We must rescue my brethren in arms. My lieutenant, Mikael. His screams echo from somewhere in the plains of torment ahead. If anyone will know of Skarn's plan, it is he. Save him. Your blade grants its wielder the power to commune through the light. I will guide you to the best of my ability. Uh, the path has been revealed, it seems. The blade is leading me towards that cave. That smell. The rank odor of putrefying blood. I can hardly see a thing in here. Mikael, do you live? The wrath... Um, you... You're not an illusion? Another trick to torture me? No. An archangel's blessings. How? Oh, it doesn't matter. Please help me. Oh, the siphon is draining my spirit, stealing my light. Destroy it. Halt. The sound. It stopped. Flee, mortal. Flee. Free me! Please! Damn it! That creature shattered the mechanism. There has to be something I can use to flip the grate again. The cleaver! think that my salvation would come from mortal hands. I had feared all hope had abandoned me. Not yet, it seems. Baratheo has also been freed. She is waiting for you. There is something otherworldly about your essence, mortal. And you wield an archangel's weapon with ease. Perhaps we stand a chance of stopping Skarn's plan. Before I was taken here to be tortured by that beast, I bore witness to Skarn's rituals. The construction of great pits of anguish that summoned forth a demonic army. Such blasphemy 
cannot be allowed to exist. The pits lie within the depths of Skarn's blackened citadel. Go and bring Skarn's ritual low. May heaven's light illumine your path. If this is the extent of your hospitality, I am unimpressed. You have my interest, but do not presume we are equals. You are still unworthy in the eyes of your true kin. Allow me to demonstrate. Behind both of these gateways lies a tortured soul. One, the foul spawn of heaven. One, a servant from your world who has strayed from my path and seeks redemption. Grant one their freedom. Decide. You would save the beings who merely burned your world into cinder. Their fear still drives them against you. No. Do not let the demons stir your heart. It seeks to corrupt you, to prey upon your weakness. Remember your purpose, mortal. The pit of anguish. It must be somewhere ahead. To purge the evil as I did before. This may be your only chance. Heaven would deny the truth. That as Garn's power wanes, Ours grows. I sense another of my brothers. Andalon. To the north. Make haste. Another tortured angel? Sickening. Only a hollow armor remains. 
I must reach Andalon before he shares this fate. An entire legion imprisoned and drained of life. So this is how an unknown demon summoned an army. Come no closer. We are not alone. Purus is watching. Andalon? Fear not. Garathia has sent me to aid you. Demon spawn? Have the days grown so dark that your mongrel kind could provide a ray of hope? Would you prefer to remain imprisoned? Do not confuse incredulity for ingratitude, mortal. Scorn's evil must be put to an end. And it appears fate has chosen you as its unlikely pawn. The usurper has stolen my lifeblood and used it to birth an unholy army from a twisted womb in the West. It will be guarded by the living war engines of hell. Only the light you wield can stop it from issuing forth again. Though it tests my faith, I must ask you to resist your many imperfections and deliver us from evil. <laughs>
destroy at their behest, exactly as they would have purged your world. Your lies fall on deaf ears, demon. One does not raise an army or invade another world for peace. Uh, painful effulgence. Such brilliance only brings my failings to light. Shaddix, he lives. You must destroy the soul cycle model. With pleasure. to harm you, but I, I can fight him no longer. Your bonds are broken, Angel. There is no freedom in the Lord of Damnation's realm. Ah, oh, that feel... Do you not see? He wants you to free us! Ah! Oh. There can be no victory here. We... join him, or we bleed away into nothingness. Now you see my truths laid bare. The fate of those who stand against me. Eventually, their suffering gives way to acceptance. Give into despair. Your brethren live. They sent me to bring you back. <clears throat> yes. 
yet. I am lost. After all, the damned belong here. Spirit has been smothered by hell's corruption. Shaddix, we shall remember you. Despite this tragedy, we must carry on, fulfill our mission, and destroy the last pit of anguish. Impressive, but can you close a thousand more pits as they yawn open? Can all of humanity consider your future? Heaven and hell have waged eternal war to claim the power I hold. Not even the prime evils themselves can contest it. I will see you shortly, demon. I can tread no farther in this citadel. Skarn must be somewhere beyond this gate. But how to reach it? Yomira lost, I feared the worst. I am glad to find my fears unfounded. The mortal lost the Archangel's blade, and we are nearly powerless in the heart of Skarn's empire. If anything, your fears are vindicated. We should never have trusted such a fallible creature. Silence, Andalon. The pits of anguish lie dormant by this mortal's hand. Our bickering only benefits the enemy. Without Yonira, only our strength can open the gateway to the Usurper's throne room. We must work together, for eternity is at stake. Mortal, see to our defense, and the path shall be opened. Done, but it will take all of our strength to maintain the portal. When you enter, you will be alone with a deceitful demon lord who commands the power of creation. Can you overcome this challenge, mortal? Ah, my people. Naver bled and died to ensure the world stone did not rest in the hands of evil. I will not fail them. Skarn will know the full fury of Bulkathos when my axe cleaves his skull. Go, champion. 
We will hold the gateway open as long as we can. Gaze upon my strength. The corpse of a prime, abandoned in hell to rot. Now bound by my will. This stone is the key to all mortal souls. Your life has been bleeding away since you stepped foot in my domain. I offer you one last chance at redemption. Be cleansed. Join with us, your true family. Or unending darkness awaits. And the children of Bukathos will greet it with steel and fury. My help returns. Gilnira, it survived. Yet corruption befouls the blade. Perhaps Cain will know what to do with it. He always does. 
It seems Skarn's plans to siphon away humanity's light ended with him. Good riddance. The skull! By mortal hands, I find anchor in the fires of hell. From the endless abyss, terror stalks creation once more. Flee! Now! Get the shard away from here! I'm healed. Ferathiel is inside. Throw open the gate. We have to reach her. Reckless and impossible. We lack the strength. And doing so would imperil all that she sacrificed herself to save. Ferathiel laid down her life to ensure the Lord of Terror did not claim the heart of creation. You are unworthy of such sacrifice, mortal. She felled countless demons across the field of eternity, only to suffer for an eon. You are not fit to question her. Angelon, remember her words and hold your ire for the enemy. While our mission is over at long last, we remain in the depth of hell. Discord among allies is of ill benefit. As for you, mortal, Verifiel commanded us to ensure you escaped hell with that stone. While I do not hold you in the same esteem, I will respect her orders. Return the shard to your world. We will be watching. Do not stray from the light. Ah, friend. You've returned. We were beginning to fear the worst. You have it. The last Worldstone shard? Yes. But it came at a terrible cost. Diablo's soul has been freed within the burning hells. Diablo? Oh, no. No. No, it was done! The Lord of Terror was dealt with! This is a catastrophic turn of events. I had hoped we'd averted the end of days. But this... It is not over yet, Cain. What I saw was only a spirit. Diablo has not yet taken form. There is still time to prepare. I've been too complacent. A fool. I should have foreseen this outcome. Still, it seems not all hope has left us. At least you were able to wrest the shard from Hell's grasp. Come, we must destroy it while we are still able. Unsheath Yilnira and let us banish this corrupted shard from our world. Yilnira. corruption is overtaking the blade look at it the light has almost entirely faded from the archangel's weapon can anything be done i i, I, I do not know uh, charcy blades are your expertise 
Tempering an Archangel's blade is beyond even the Herodric Malice's power. Even our best efforts can barely understand such strength, much less reforge it. Yet, Yulnira is the only hope we have of destroying the Shard. If Diablo returns to life and acquires this stone, I'm not certain anything could stop him. Oh, Tyrael, if only you were still here to guide us. We must use the blade as it is. Uh, hold on. Uh, you heard Charcy. The results could be catastrophic. Uh, we don't know what destroying the shard with a corrupted blade will do. It is no worse a fate than what Diablo would unleash upon us. All of you, stand back. I know what I must do. my friend that light nearly consumed you i feared well thankfully it doesn't matter what i feared you live and the shard is no more yulnira it shattered the blade has fulfilled its purpose we will uh, have to take some solace in that. Besides, if what you saw is true, and Diablo's spirit survived, then the end of days has not been averted. We will need all the strength and knowledge we can muster. Come with me for a moment. I have a gift for you. It may prove useful. But I'm afraid you will have to uncover some of its secrets first. You hold a vessel of power that once belonged to my ancestor, Jared Kane. Sadly, his writings mention very little about it. Whatever its purpose was, the man refused to document it most unlike him. Against all odds, the Herodrons stopped Diablo and his brothers from assailing our world. If that vessel holds even a sliver of their power, it could prove useful. Thank you, Cain. We will prevent the Lord of Terror's return. There is no other choice. I believe you, friend. But even if you are successful, the Dark Lord has been defeated before. No, the end is coming, and we must prepare. For now, though, I must retire to my studies. I am certain there is something I missed. <laughs> 